Did you ever have faith in something? Even though everyone else said not to? Yeah, I have. Okay, everybody, we're here with James Kyson Lee from Heroes to talk about the latest DVD release that's coming out this coming Tuesday? Yeah, September 1st. The fun thing about our show is that we have to shoot a lot of stuff and not all of it may make it onto the episode. That's what the DVD is for. So we have interviews, commentaries, highlights, um, a lot of really interesting features that shows you how our show is put together. This season, a lot happened with Ando, obviously gaining an ability. <sighs> This was definitely a fun season, and uh, a lot happened with Ando and Hero and infiltrating Building 26, trying to take down the bad guys. So there's a lot of fun stuff uh, that you can check out in the commentary section. That's cool. I mean, and finally you have some powers, right? You're no longer this powerless sidekick, and so it's like, you know, so you ready to be on your own now, or what's the deal? What was that? I think that was part of the whole uh, theme that was going on about how we would uh, kind of talk about, you know, who is the psychic, who is the lead, and then at the end of the, the volume, we're like, well, let's become partners. So if I can supercharge other people's powers, that means I have an ability. Yes, yatta! That was a good way to sort of wrap up the volume. Uh, this new season, uh, Ando and Hero are starting a new business together and that's gonna throw us into some really unusual adventures. Uh, and Ando's also gonna be paired up with uh, someone that you completely didn't expect. We have some really cool uh, characters and different guest stars coming on. Robert Nepper as the new ringleader, uh, Madame Lazima from Californication, Ray Park from Star Wars and G.I. Joe. What have you been working on outside of Heroes? I was in Bulgaria for uh, a good amount of time filming uh, the sci-fi movie, Star Runners. Uh, with Connor Trenier from Enterprise, so uh, that was uh, that was quite a trip being out there. Um, I have a movie coming out next month called Wine on Rice, um, and then I just wrapped a romantic comedy with uh, Kristen Ritter and Ian Somerhalder called How to Make Love to a Woman. Are you uh, are you a gamer of any sorts or? Yeah, um, I mean, video games uh, is, is become so big now that you know, playing it feels like you're in a movie, you know, and. Um, so I have an Xbox at home and I've gotten to voice a few of the video games which has been really cool. Um, the last one I did was uh, Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe. And then voicing Shang Tsung who's like a very iconic character in the game um, was pretty awesome. But energies are in constant flux as a result of the merging. The darkness was another game, uh, which was fun to be part of. And on that one, they put me in this motion capture suit. That was definitely a really fun experience. What's your favorite gadget? Wow, um, I love my camera. Uh, I bring my laptop everywhere, obviously. You know, I, I love all the iPhone apps. I haven't switched over yet, just because I feel like if I do, then I'm just gonna be on my phone all the time, because I'm on Twitter, Facebook a lot. There's gonna be a movie shot about you, your life. Who would you want to play you? That's a good question. <gasps> what would happen? <laughs> Maybe John Cho. Ah! You won't tell us anything else what's going on with Heroes. You can't, I guess. Um, well, I, I think the, the big premiere on September 21st is uh, definitely uh, something to look forward to. We're doing a two hour premiere, and uh, there's going to be a lot of new revelations about the characters that we'll be following from the beginning. Um, also, season three DVD will be a great way to catch up and, and catch up on uh, volume three villains and volume four fugitives and uh, how we wrapped uh, the story up. Thanks for talking to us today. Thanks a lot, James. <laughs>